Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about how to solve rational equations. A rational equation is an equation made up of fractional terms with an equal sign. So to solve these, we need to multiply both sides, or in other words, you multiply all the pieces by the LCD. So watch, if we multiply this, first we have to analyze what the LCD is. So in this first problem, the least common denominator is x times x plus 1. So what we're going to do is I'm going to multiply all of the parts by x, x plus 1. Now if you look in this right side of the equation, you see how this top with this bottom can cancel? So these cancel and I'm left with x times x plus 6. Now I'm going to multiply the other side by x times x plus 1. And you can see how the x top cancels with this bottom. So I'm left with x plus 1 times x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply the middle by x, x plus 1. So you see how this x cancels with that x. And I'm left with this piece and this piece. So plus x minus 1, x plus 1. Okay, so now we just have to solve the algebra that's in front of us. So if we do this part, x squared, x plus x times x plus, I'm sorry, x plus 1 times x plus 1, if you double distribute all that, you'll get x squared plus 2x plus 1. And if you double distribute all of this, you'll get x squared minus 1. The middle terms will cancel. And if you distribute the x here, you'll get x squared plus 6x. And on the left side of the equal sign, we can combine like terms. So we have 2x squared plus 2x, and the 1's will cancel. And I'll be left with x squared plus 6x on this side. And I'm going to set it equal to 0 to solve. So I'll have x squared minus 4x equals 0. I'll be left with x, x minus 4, and a t-chart of x equals 0 and x equals 4. So those are my two answers. But I also want you to remember that these are fractions, and fractions have undefined values that must be rejected before circling your final answer. So if you look back at the original problem, there's an x on the bottom and an x on the bottom. So if x is 0, this fraction is undefined. So that means I'm going to reject that one because 0 makes it undefined. And if x were negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 would make it undefined. But I didn't get negative 1 over here, so this is the one that I get to keep. So sometimes people find it easier to find the undefined values first. So let's look at that maybe in the second example. If we look at this problem, I know that if y is 6, 6 minus 6 gives me 0. So I know that y cannot equal 6. And I also know that y cannot equal, well, let's see, 3 times what gives me 18, so that 18 minus 18 is 0. So it looks like that's 6 again. So y actually cannot equal 6 in both situations, so it's just y cannot equal 6. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to try to find the LCD. Now it looks as though I could factor out a 3 here. So I have a 3 and a y minus 6. This has a y minus 6 and that has a 3. So it looks as though that this is the LCD. So for my LCD, I'm going to write 3 y minus 6. And let's do exactly what we did in the first example. We're going to multiply every piece by the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this side by 3 y minus 6. And by doing so, the 3 and the y minus 6 will cancel. 
So I'm really just left with this, which is 2y plus 1. And then I have this middle part that I'm going to multiply by 3y minus 6. And you'll see that the y minus 6 will cancel. So I have the 3 times the 5, which is 15. So I'm bring down that minus for the minus 15. Then I'm going to multiply this by the 3y minus 6. And you can see that the 3s will cancel. And I'm just left with y minus 6. So if I combine like terms, I have 2y minus 14 equals y minus 6. Now, this is not a quadratic, so I don't have to get it equal to 0. I could just get y's on one side and numbers on the other. So I'm going to subtract y. So I have y minus 14 equals negative 6. Add 14 to both sides. And I have y is equal to 20. And that seems to work fine. There's no problem because I don't have to reject it because the undefined value was 6. All right, let's move on to the back page. Okay, so I'm going to do example number two with you, and then you can try example number one on your own. So example number one we'll say is homework, and example number two we can try now. So the first thing that I notice is that this is not written as a fraction. So I'm going to write this as x over one minus two over x minus three equals x minus one over 3 minus x. And first checking for undefined values, I can see that this x value would have to be 0. Uh, excuse me, it would have to be 3. 3 minus 3 would give me 0. So we can say undefined at 3. Same thing here, 3 minus 3 would give me 0. So if I get 3, we'll have to reject it. Okay, so now let's see what the LCD would be. So this is an x minus 3, and this is a 3 minus x. So we call those opposite factors. So the LCD would actually be x minus 3. So we're going to write LCD is x minus 3. And you know this because we know we can turn this into that by multiplying it by a negative 1. So we don't actually have to do that with this multiplying both sides by the LCD, and you'll see why it doesn't, it doesn't need to be crossed off. So we're going to multiply this by x minus 3, and we're going to multiply this by x minus 3, and we're going to multiply this by x minus 3. So nothing cancels over here, so we're just going to leave this as x times x minus 3. In the middle, these cancel, so I'm just left with minus 2. And here, these are going to cancel, but this is where that negative 1 will come in. They're going to cancel, but they cancel to a negative 1. So I have to multiply that negative 1 into here. So it'll be a negative times x minus 1. So we distribute. And we distribute. And now we have to solve. So we have x squared plus, oops, excuse me, x squared minus 3x minus x, or plus x, is negative 2x minus 3. And we factor x minus 3 and x plus 1. And we get x is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to a negative 1. But remember, x is undefined when x equals 3. So we have to reject this one, and x equals negative 1 is the answer. So what I'd like you to do now is try number 1 here, and we'll go over that one in class tomorrow. All right, have a good night.